Hey, I'm Mr. Storm, it's Coach Skaggs here at Primetime Baseball. We hope you guys are all staying safe and uh, find ways to stay active and fit and uh, get your baseball skills rolling during this tough time. So this week, we're going to be breaking down some defensive drills. My job is going to be to challenge you each week to get better at defense. We're going to be doing infield and outfield drills, and uh, Coach Brissett's going to be throwing in some catching drills to make sure that you guys are finding ways to get better. All right, so this, uh, this week, we're going to be talking about a simple drill off the wall. Guarantee that you guys have all either seen or done wall ball drills, but we're going to add some variations to it that I don't think you guys have done before, and I'm going to challenge you with that. The only thing is you guys need, you either need a wall, some type of hard surface, a garage door, and or a fence, and then you need some type of ball, whether it be a baseball, tennis ball, racquetball, something like that, even a wiffle ball will work. All right, so we're going to be going through different drills today using the wall. Now, stance. I want to make sure we're all clear on our stance when we're fielding ground balls. Our feet should be shoulder width apart, our knees are bent, and when we go to field that ball, we're sitting down. Our butt is not up in the air like this fielding the ground ball. It kind of looks like a baby giraffe drinking water. We don't want to be like that. We want our butt to be set nice and down here, and we're fielding that ball out front with our glove hand down and our other hand right above it. That way the ball doesn't funnel out of our glove once we field it. Okay, so in this position here, fielding the ball. Okay, our head down, watching the ball go into the glove. That's what we're working on today. We're going to be working on three different fielding positions. Fielding the ball out front of our body, right here. Doing a glove side field where we ball sit to our glove side. We're going to field the ball out front here. And a backhand where we're going to field the ball right here. Okay? All three of those positions, you notice my head was looking right down to the receiving point of the baseball. We're going to go hop over here to the wall. We're going to get after some drills. All right, so for the wall ball drill, we're going to be doing it two different ways. We're going to be using with the glove and without the glove. So I'm going to start without the glove for the first part of the drill. All right, so I've got my wall here that I'm doing my ball, ground balls with, and I got my baseball. I'm going to get myself in my infield stance. My feet are shoulder width apart, the knees bent. All I'm going to do is throw the ball at the wall. I'm going to be fielding it the first time with my bare hand on my glove hand. So I'm a right-handed thrower. I feel with this hand, so that's the hand that I'm going to be fielding the ball with. I'm going to field the ball out front. Now notice my head looking right down at the baseball, and I feel the ball out in front of my body not in the back of my stance, okay? Nice little ground ball, right out in front, okay? This is a good warm up, getting us loose, and you can see, depending how you fill the ball off the wall, sometimes it becomes a slow roller, sometimes it can come hard. That's up to you, how hard you fill the ball off the wall. After we field one hand, we're gonna go two hands, okay? With no glove still, right out in front. Two hands, no glove. Watching the ball all the way into our, stand, into our, our glove every time, okay? After we've done that, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab our glove and we're doing the same thing. Fielding the ball out front, one hand with the glove. Okay? Now this hand you can put behind your back, you can just rest on your side, like over here, it doesn't really matter. But just make sure that ball, that hand is not fielding the ball. One more. Alright, now we're going to two hands on the ball, on the uh, field of the ball. Alright, so that's for the ground balls, fielding it with and without the glove, right out in front of your hands. Alright, so now after you've done the fielding the ball out front, we're going to work on fielding the ball on our glove side. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to start without our glove, and when we go to field the ball on our glove side, we're going to be in our stance here. I'm going to fill the ball. My goal is to field it at my foot, my left foot, or outside of it. Okay, either one, because what this is simulating is in a game, a ground ball is hit to our left side, we're going to go and field the ball and come up to our throwing position but we're gonna field it coming out this way. All right, so for the drill, I got my wall here, got the ball, my feet, shoulder width apart, knees bent. I'm gonna throw the ball and try to have it come somewhere in this area. I may mess up, it may come right back here. It's okay, here we go. All right, off the wall, bare hand out front. See, right there, I messed up, didn't have a good throw. Here we go, now I got a better one. Build it out front, watch my head every time. Coming right down on the ball, watching it in. After we do that, grab our glove. Same thing. Okay, off the wall. Feeling it. Staying low in our stance. One more. See that one? I moved even farther. Now notice how I reached. In a game, we're going to want to move our feet. But for this drill here, let's see how far you can reach and you can get your glove out moving. If that's too far in a game, I'm probably going to have to die for it. But we want to see how far you can reach to field that ground ball. All right, next and final drill we're going to be doing here is going into the backhand. 
All right? So remember, for the back end, we're going to be turning our body here. My wall's here. I'm turning my body this way. In the back end, we talked about here, we're going to feel the ball on our foot and in this area. All right? Now, it's important when we feel the ball, remember, we want our hands to be moving towards the baseball. Why? Because as we go in a game, when we go to feel the back end, we get here in the stance, we want to move our body towards the ball so we gain momentum to throw that ball at first. Because this is a tougher throw back on our backhand than it is if we're fielding it here. Okay? So, same thing we're going to be doing. Start out the uh, out about the glove, throwing the ball right up the wall, get this out of the way a little bit, fielding it back in. You're going to make mistakes here. You're going to miss. This is a tough play with the backhand. Make sure you're really zoned in. Okay? We're gonna miss it. Our goal is to watch that ball the best we can into our glove. Okay? Get your choppers in there. Alright, after you've done that, grab your glove. Same drill, off the wall, backhand. saw the very first one I threw, I started to get off balance, right? I went to go in my stance, I threw the ball a little bit too far this way, started to fall over. What does that show me? One, I gotta have a better throw, but two, I wasn't in a good stance to start. Okay, so I quickly adjusted my body, got myself in a good stance, was able to stay through the ground ball. Challenge yourself. That's the best we can do without game situations is push ourselves and get better. Let's see how hard you push yourself this week. 